These women beg to be whipped by men, and guess what? They enjoy it. The Hama are known for their unique custom of bow jumping, which initiates a boy into manhood. First, female relatives dance and invite whipping from men who have recently been initiated. This shows their support of the initiate and their scars give them a say on who they marry. You should watch this video to the very last minute. Stay tuned. Hama people are a community inhabiting southwestern Ethiopia. They live in Hama Wereda, a fertile part of the Omo River Valley. Ethiopia's 2003 national census reported 46,532 people in this ethnic group, of whom 10,000 were urban inhabitants. The pastoral polygamous people are well known for their unique rituals such as cattle leaping or bull jumping ceremony that men go through in order to reach adulthood whereupon young Hama women get whipped to prove their love for their king's mind. This ceremony often attracts neighbors and people foreign to their culture to witness it. It's a very important ceremony to a Hama man because it is the ceremony which qualifies him to marry, own cattle and have children. The timing of the ceremony is up to the man's parents and happens after harvest. They have several days of feasting and drinking sorghum beer in preparation for the ceremony. On the afternoon of the jump, the man's female relatives demand to be whipped as part of the ceremony. These girls go out to meet the Maza, the ones who will whip them, and this is a group of men who have already jumped across the cattle in the past and live apart from the rest of the tribe, moving from ceremony to ceremony, whipping women. The whipping appears to be consensual. The girls gather around and beg to be whipped on their backs. They don't show the pain they feel, and they say they are proud of the scars. Women who refuses to join in are looked down upon and neglected, but young girls are discouraged from getting whipped. One effect of this ritual whipping is to create a strong depth between the young man and his sisters. If they face hard times in the future, he will remember them because of the pain they went through at his initiation. Her scars are a mark of how she suffered for her brother. As for the young man jumping over the cattle, before the ceremony, his head is partially shaved he is rubbed with sand to wash away his sins and smeared with dung to give him strength. Finally, strips of tree bark are strapped round his body in a cross as a form of spiritual protection. Meanwhile, the Maza and elders line up about 15 cows and castrated male cattle which represent the women and the children of the tribe. The cattle in turn are smeared with dung to make them slippery. To come of age, the man must jump across the line four times. If he falls, it is a shame, but he can try again. If he is blind or lame, he will be helped across the cattle by others. Only when he has been through this initiation rite can he marry the wife chosen for him by his parents and start to build up his own head. Once his marriage has been agreed upon, he and his family are indebted to his wife's family for marriage payments amounting to 30 goats and 20 cattle. At the end of the jump, he is blessed and sent off with the Maza who shave his head and make him one of their members. His king's men and neighbors they camp for a huge dance. It's also a chance for large scale flirting. The girls get to choose who they want to dance with and indicate their chosen partner by kicking him on the leg. It doesn't stop there. Wife beating is an accepted part of life rather than a taboo. And the convention is that a man will not generally tell his wife why she is being whipped. On the other hand, if a beating is severe, then family or neighbors will step in. And after a couple have had two or three children, beating stops. What do you think about this tribe and their traditional practices? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and share. Thanks for watching.